let's talk about this Ace Amin battle because since, since that's the the most recent joint, yeah, a uh, little bit of controversy. Uh huh. People gonna automatically say I'm biased because I'm home team anyway, uh-huh. but I did have you winning the first two rounds. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the the first obviously the first was was clear. I think the second round you edged it, and the third round obviously you know we know what happened in the third. Yeah. Um, but okay, and this is my thing. Why is this? I feel like there's so much Cortez hate. I feel like it's just because it's it's a standard at this point. It's like yo, like. All right, let's just not try to give him any type of credit. But at the end of the day, I still get checks. I still get paid. And to be honest with you, I look at that situation and let me know right there. Fuck everybody. No, that's a fact, bro. Because I like it's crazy. Because and I and I'm gonna go back to the to the tournament a little bit too, right? I'm gonna go back to the official battle. Mm-hmm. And I'm literally I'm looking at people's faces during the battle, and it's like they're tight because you wigging right now. Yeah. And I'm just like, yo, why are you mad that he's fuck he's doing his thing right now? Yeah. Like it just it makes no sense to me. But I'm like, yo, I, now I get it. They got the the I hate Cortez campaign. Like that's the that's the thing to do. Uh huh. And I mean, outside of of the Rum Nitty battle, like you kind you've been back on your on your bull. Back on your bully. Yeah, I think I'm having a great year, actually. Absolutely. I mean, just completely destroyed the fish. That that was just mm-hmm. crazy. You know what I mean? The, I went to Michigan before that. I caught a body out there. Yes. Um. You know, then I had the Jack Boy battle. Great Jack battle. Boy. Shout out to Jack Boy, though. Fire. You know what I'm saying? He um, was fire um, in that ex- battle, too. Exa- exactly. You know, Rum Nitty battle, I feel like, was, was edging to be close. I, you know what I mean? Besides the slip-ups, I feel like the material was there. And... At the end of the day, you're talking about preparation every two weeks for over a month. You know, uh, I feel like that had just put me in a certain category this year, you know. Yeah. And I actually got a battle next weekend out here in, in New York and a weekend after that up here in Harlem, too. So I'm working, you know. And and this year, if if, if you sitting here and saying core is not killing shit, yeah. then you just a hater. Yeah, it like it, it 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 bugs me, and this is why I really wanted you to win the tournament. Mm-hmm. And actually, and I had you. A lot of people, you know, obviously haters, but I actually had you as a as a favorite to win the tournament because of the the two week time span. And you know, the veterans the short they, prep, they, yeah, yeah, they're better at that at that short short prep. So I actually kind of had you as one of the favorites. I actually had you as a favorite. I had Swave. <laughs> Um, as a favorite, you know, there was a little bit of controversy. Swave could have made it to the end, too, if, if they didn't switch his opponent and all that stuff, too. So, like, you know, Swave had his own situations going on on his side of the bracket that uh, I feel like he could have made it further. Yeah. Now, okay, so in these battles, because because they're judged, how, first of all, do you guys pick the judges? And if you don't want a judge to be there, can you just be like, nah, I don't want that judge? And yes. Smack is like, all right. Yes, yes, yes. We're not mandated for these judges. Now, the tournament was a little different because we already committed to the tournament. They didn't announce the judges until the week of the first round. So most of my material was already written before they yeah. even announced the judges. Uh, but as far as like the me and Ace I mean situation, yeah, we turned down a couple judges. Who? We was like, nah, nah. You know what I mean? But we both agreed to those two. Who? Who? Who are the judges that you will be like, all right, I think they're going to be fair and unbiased? Uh, You know, a lot of people give Minnesota Luke flack. I feel like he just has an issue with, like, explaining yeah. what it is, but I don't feel like he's far off on his judgments. Now, as far as just, like, always accurate on time, we got to give it to Tone Bro. I think Tone Bro is just excellent with it, how he breaks it down. He understands the analogies, he understands the metaphors, he understands the backstories to certain lines, yeah. he understands certain event, you know, something happened, or, or, you know, drama, current event stuff, so he's very in tune, so I would just have to say him for sure. Okay. You See, know? my thing with, with Minnesota Luke is, and, and I, I'm actually, it's crazy, because I actually met Minnesota Luke at the Charlie Clips uh, Danny Myers battle. Okay. So we actually chopped it up. I actually had to get him back to the train station because he didn't know how to get around in New York City. So, uh-huh. I, so I, yeah, we were in, um, it was it was in Brooklyn at, um, 
Ah, uh, what was that spot? It's right next to the hotel underneath the um the Long Island Railroad stop over there. It's like a little warehouse thing over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was over there. He kind of had got lost in the city, so I had to get him back to the to the train station. But a lot of the newer battle fans don't know like how how much of a part of the culture culture he was, he was. especially especially on the on the promotion tip because he would do backstories and interviews on us and give yes. us the exposure. So. You know, I have no problem with Minnesota Loop. Yeah, you know? it's, but he do need to work on them explanations though. Cause the explanations be a little wacky. You know yeah, what I'm saying? but but I don't I don't I don't feel like he has any malice or any intent. You know, and I feel yes. like that's the main thing. You know, I feel like the biggest issue was people were upset at me for what the judges picked. I didn't I didn't yeah. pick me over Ace. Like I I battled. Exactly. He battled. We go to the judges. You understand? You're upset at me. And I feel like that's what showed that there was clear hate. It yes. was like, you're not mad at just the judges. You're, you're mad at me. Because you're, you're mad that you, that you won. Yeah, yeah. And I said, that shows that, you, that you're a hater. Yeah. Because realistically, right? Let's just say if, if you want to give Ace the third and because of the stumbles and you got the, the first clearly, right? So for the most part, both of y'all seconds was was pretty clean. Yeah. So it's just a it's just a preference thing at that point. So can you really be mad at the judges for picking a certain way in that situation? Like, like I said, it's just a that's the hate train. That- hey, you already know who it is. It's your boy Charlie Clips. Harlem all day, every day, even when we outside, we still in the building. You already know what it is, man. Real fans, real talk.